Today, plenty of people were out in Minneapolis for an event reflecting on progress made towards racially, racial equity after George Floyd's murder. Next week marks two years since Floyd's murder at the hands of Minneapolis police. Fox 9's Bab Santos visited today's event. He joins us live now from Phelps Field Park. And Babs, this is going, this is going to go on for quite a while then tonight. Hey, Karen, that's right. This is the second year they've had this event here, and all this art that you can see behind me was collected from the streets of the Twin Cities during the unrest after George Floyd's murder. Reflecting on and learning from the past with hopes of healing together as a community, dozens of people came out on Saturday at Minneapolis's Phelps Field Park to see these plywood panels that paint a picture of the impact felt by George Floyd's murder. I felt a calling to come back here um, and see the art and I'm overwhelmed. These bright, colorful murals memorialize a movement. I'm moved by it. Taking many back to the dark days of unrest and protesting around the world after the murder of George Floyd. You know, seeing some of this stuff just brings me back to that moment and that time that I heard it and I saw it. During the unrest, business owners boarded up their shops to protect from looting. But local artists took that as an opportunity to spread their messages on the wooden barricades. Of solidarity of accountability, of anger, of sadness, of hope. Lisa Kelly is the architect behind this weekend's display, founder and executive director of Memorialize the Movement. These murals came from schools, they came from dance studios, they came from local restaurants. Years later, the people here to see the art from those places continue to grieve George Floyd's death while celebrating the changes made possible by his life. It shows that this story is not over and that we're going to continue to tell it. And so I'm really proud today. I'm in awe. And Karen, another similar event is also planned for next weekend with more art on Saturday afternoon at 38th in Chicago. Back to you.